Welcome back to Shroom Academy channel. Today we'll be showing you how to create liquid culture or liquid mycelium by following simple steps. So let's get to it. In order to create liquid mycelium or liquid culture, different ingredients are used. Honey or fructose are the most common ones. We will be using honey because we believe it has more nutrients for the growing mycelium. In the first step, we'll need to create a 4% solution of honey. For this purpose, we'll take 4 grams of honey and 100 milliliters of water. Well, this is not exactly 4% solution, but this is close enough. The less honey we have, the slower is the growth of the mycelium. However, with less honey, the shelf life of the liquid culture increases. Our practice has shown that the percentage between 1.5 and 2 is the optimal. As a first step, we will measure the required amount of honey on the scale. Next, we will measure 100 ml of water. After that, we will carefully dissolve our honey in our water. The best files for this purpose are that from medical grade saline solution. And of course, we will need to empty our vials before use, so we will insert a needle into the cap and we will start pumping air inside. Eventually, they will empty themselves. And after giving a little rinse, we will inject our honey solution. If you just use a single needle, then the pressure inside will be working against you, so you will insert two needles. One of them will be acting as a reverse bleed valve. The next step is sterilization. We will be using boiled water to sterilize our vials and 15 minutes should be enough to sterilize this volume. If sterilization takes longer, then the honey might caramelize, which will spoil our experiment. The tops of the vials need to be covered with aluminum foil. We also need to put something at the bottom of our sterilization vessels, so that the bottoms of our vials do not overheat. You can use just a regular towel that you'll fold several times and put at the bottom of the vessel. We'll put the vials inside our sterilization vessel. Then we'll add enough water to cover the vials between one fourth and one half of their height. As soon as the water starts to boil, we'll turn down the heat to a simmer and start our 15 minutes countdown. When the time is up, we'll remove the vials from the heat and let them chill to room temperature. And now when our vials are ready, we can put some life inside them. Take our spore syringe from a fridge. And if you missed that, here's the link in upper right corner of this video. Then we take our alcohol burner and our honey solution. We'll put our needle into the fire until it's red. Then we quickly chill it in the alcohol and then we quickly pierce our vial 
and inject around 1 ml of fluid inside. No more is required. We'll mark the date of inoculation, put the foil back, and place the vial in a dark, warm place. where the temperature is between 26 and 28 degrees centigrade. In three days, we should check on our vials. If we see a little jellyfish forming at the bottom, then everything is fine. If you do not have whitish formations in your vials after a week, then something went wrong and you need to do the thing again. In two weeks, our jellyfish is big enough to inoculate the grain. The vial should be stored wrapped in tin foil in a dark, cold place. A fridge is good enough. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel, click notification button, and stay tuned. See you!